Whether it's a lager or an ale Whether it's a stout, light, dark, or pale If you can brew it, Chad can review it It's time for Chad's Beer Reviews He's not quite an amateur, not quite a connoisseur But regardless of the brewer, he's got taste in beer for sure You can tell just by his gut, this guy is a bona fide beer knife So whether it's a porter or an IPA Whether it's from Europe or the USA If you can brew it Chad can review it. Tonight, I've never even heard of before, but uh, Jeremy at Westmere Beverage recommended it, so I'm going to give it a try. It's a uh, Kiram Gold Celtic Wheat Beer by uh, the Carlo. I'm on their webpage right here. It doesn't really say much about the beer on the bottom, so, so I'm just going to read you from their website. It says, Kiram was originally brewed by the early Celtic inhabitants of the Barrow Valley in southeast Ireland. Over the centuries, this ancient brewing tradition was all but forgotten until its revival. Bright and sparkling Kiram Gold Celtic wheat beer is brewed using a blend of pale malt, torrefied wheat, and caramel. It is lightly hopped using Challenger, Mount Hood, and Cascade varieties resulting in a refreshing, light, fruity beer with hints of peach, banana, and plum. Spicy food. Um, well, I already ate, so I guess we'll see how it tastes on its own. Using my Harp Nonic Pine Glass. You know, I, I like a fruity, crisp beer. You know, like kind of like a Belgian white. It is of the Irish equivalent of that? I don't know. No surprise, I got a nice head on there. Yeah, that's my here. It's a bright white, foamy. The body's a, a little dark gold. Plenty of carbonation. Smells like a lager. I'm not smelling any fruity notes on it. It has mostly just a really grainy scent. Well, I'm not noticing any fruit. It t it drinks a lot like harp. With an, an ale and a wheat beer at that. Um, it's tasting more like a pretty typical lager. But it tastes a lot like the... Uh, European green bottle pilsners. It's it definitely is crisp, and like it has like as soon as it hits your lips, it's just like you can feel the hop hoppiness to it. Like it's not like super bitey like an IPA, but there definitely is like a, a strong hop presence there. Yeah, I mean, this tastes more. I mean, I'm tasting a pilsner here. A wheat beer, but. Look at that, I've never seen a body that clear on a wheat beer before. Pretty coarse finish on here. It's not that easy of a beer to drink. It doesn't seem like it's that heavy though. Then again, I'm only halfway through the first one. I would just categorize this as like a generic blonde ale. And I'm not a fan of blonde ales at all. Because they're probably like the most plain beers on the planet. Like, um, you know, back in January I did the Red Hook Blonde Ale. Didn't like that. And even just last week I did uh, Old Capital Blonde Ale by Keegan Ales, which I didn't really like either. I'm just not finding much of anything in this beer. It's just really, really generic. It's just... It's drinking more like a pilsner than an ale. Um, it has a pretty watery, thin body. It's rather coarse. So I mean, it's not too hard to drink, but I prefer something a lot smoother than this. And there's there's no fruit notes in here at all. It's crisp. That's the one thing I can, I can give it. So, anyways, didn't really like it that much. So, I'm gonna give a C to it. 
to Kiram Gold Celtic Wheat Beer by Carlo Brewing Company out of Ireland. Sorry, I just didn't really like it. It's almost no taste. It's not easy to drink. A nice light body at only 4.3%, but otherwise, pretty plain. Somebody brewed it. Chad just reviewed it. Thanks for watching Chad's beer review. Trust me, the next episode will be a lot better.